Hey guys, it's uh, it's Frenchy Scott. I'm here with Master Carlos in Dallas, Texas. I'm super excited, and I promised you guys that anytime we'd come down, me and Sensei Axel, we would share some of that knowledge. So Master Carlos is going to show us a BJJ tip of the month for you guys. All right, everyone at K2, you better watch out now. This trick was on the magazine. It's called the helicopter. So here we go, uh, Mr. Scott. He's coming here. I want to first show you here your feet. Call that penguin feet. You see that? Why is that? Because here, come here, Mr. Scott. If I raise him up in the air, put your hands on my chest, look how easy it is to control. See? So it, it has a lot of stability. Now, in case you want to work with your arms, which you have to, it's like turning a wheel. Okay? So you're going to kind of use the penguin feet over here, and you turn the wheel. See? As you turn the wheel a lot of times, here, look. I still keep him down like Superman flying. Okay. When you want to do the helicopter, there will be a little adjustment on your feet, okay? You can't keep both feet all the time. So, in order for me to do the position well, as I start to lift him here, I do a little adjustment over here. Do you see that? As he falls, look, I'm holding him, my legs are out. Boom, the arm is gone. So, basically, my feet kind of move like this, his hips. His hips are rotating. One more time, slow. So, here we go, okay? Make sure you don't crash each other on the ground, don't let each other drop, don't kick each other in the head. Look, I lift, look how I kind of turn, look how I turn. See here, as it goes over here, I let my legs go, and then, oh, I finish him off. As you notice, Mr. Scott still has his feet touching the ground. It's the best way to do it initially before you do full elevation. Now, if you want to do the real one, okay, over here a lot of times in a gi situation, I kind of grab. Uh, the gi over here without pinching each other, please. And here, I will kind of put one foot more in the middle instead of evenly, you know, one more in the middle. So when I lift, that foot right there turns the guy. Oh! See how that goes? And then from here, as I finish, make sure you point the thumb to the ceiling, a little pressure down. We are good to go.